हॅलो एव्हरी वन माय सेल्फ मिसेस मयुरी कंगळे असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ मॅथमॅटिक्स फ्रॉम द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ह्युमॅनिटीज अँड सायन्सेस वालजन इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी सोलापूर टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू सी मल्टिपल इंटिग्रल्स द लर्निंग आउटकम इज ॲट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन द स्टुडंट्स विल बी एबल टू चेंज द ऑर्डर ऑफ गिवन डबल इंटिग्रेशन इन द प्रिवियस व्हिडिओ यू हॅव लर्न the method to change the order of a given double integral now in this video we will see how to solve the examples by using change of order of double integration first example change the order of integration integration from 0 to 8 integration from cube root of y to 2 f of xy dx dy here in this example observe the limits of this double integral the outer integral is having the limits constant that is 0 and 8 and inner integral is having the limits cube root of y to 2 as the inner integral is having the limits which are expressed as function of y inner integral is having the limits of x and outer integral is having the limits of y so the given order of integration is first with respect to x and then with respect to y when we change the order of integration the first will be with respect to y and then with respect to x given the limits of y are 0 8 and those for x are cube root of y to 2 now let us assign the given integral i as integration from 0 to 8 integration from cube root of y to 2 f of xy dx dy the region of integration is bounded by the curves y equal to 0 y equal to 8 x equals to cube root of y x equals to 2 the limits of this double integration gives us the equation of the curves which bounds the region of integration now here we will rewrite the equations y equal to 0 y equal to 8 cubing this equation gives us x cube equals to y and x equals to 2 now to find the region of integration draw these curves x axis which is nothing but the curve y equal to 0 the y axis now we will draw the line y equals to 8 which is parallel to x axis the curve x cube equals to y the line x equals to 2 which is parallel to y axis the line x equals to 2 intersects the x axis at the point a whose coordinates are 2 0 and obtained by solving these two equations the curve intersects at the point b again its coordinates are obtained by solving the curve equations now see the curves y equal to 0 and y equals to 8 which bounds the region of integration so the x axis and y equals to 8 these are the boundaries in which the region of integration lies as x is expressed as the function of y the initial strip is parallel to x axis see the limit x equals to cube root of y is the lower limit so the lower end of the strip is on the curve x cube equals to y and upper end is on the curve x equals to 2 so we have drawn this strip which lies in the region o a b so the region of integration is o a b now to change the order of integration reverse the strip so the strip becomes parallel to y axis to find the outer limits we will move this strip within the region of integration which moves from y axis to the line x equals to 2 so the outer limits are x equals to 0 to x equals to 2 now to find out the inner limit look at the ends of this strip its lower end is on x axis and upper end is on the curve x cube equals to y that is y equals to x cube we will get the limits as x equals to 0 x equals to 2 
y equals to x cube and y equals to 0. So, the given integral i, integration from 0 to 8, integration from cube root of y to 2, f of x y dx dy can be written as integration from 0 to 2, integration from 0 to x cube, f of x y dx dy. Here, dx dy does not tell the order of integration. To check the order of integration, look at the limits of the integral. Now, pause the video for a minute and give the answer of this question. Find the region of integration of integration from 0 to 1, integration from 4y to 4, f of xy dy dx. Come back. Let us see the solution i is given as integration from 0 to 1, integration from 4y to 4, f of xy dy dx. Look at the integral limits. The inner integral is having the limits as 4y to 4, which are expressed as the function of y. So, these are the limits of x. As these are the limits of x, the initial strip is parallel to x-axis. The outer integral is having the limits 0 to 1. These are the limits of y. So, the region of integration is between x equals to 4y to x equals to 4 and y equal to 0 to y equal to 1. So, the region of integration is the region O, A, B. Now, let us go for the second example. Change the order of integration. Integration from 0 to A, integration from x to under root Ax, f of xy dx dy. Again, look at the limits of this double integral. The outer integral is having the limit 0 to a and inner integral is having the limits from x to under root ax. As the limits of inner integral are expressed as the function of x, these are the limits of y and the constants are the limits of x. So, the given order of integration is first with respect to y and then with respect to x. Now, when we change the order of integration, first will be with respect to y and then with respect to x. The given limits are for x from 0 to a and for y x to under root ax. Now, let us assign the given integral as i. We will find out the region of integration which is bounded by the curve equations x equals to 0, x equals to a y equals to x and y equals to root x. These are obtained from the limits. Now, these equations can be written as x equal to 0, x equals to a, y equal to x and y square equals to ax. We have squared this equation. Now, we will draw the graph x axis, y axis which is nothing but the curve x equal to 0. Now, we will draw the curve x equals to a which is a straight line parallel to y axis. Now we will draw the line y equals to x which passes through the origin. Now we will draw the curve y square equals to ax which is a parabola. It intersects the straight line at the point A whose coordinates are AA. The initial strip is parallel to y axis as y is expressed as the function of x. See, the region of integration lies between x equal to 0 to x equals to a. So, it lies between these two straight lines. And the strip is parallel to y axis whose lower end is on the straight line y equal to x. And upper end is on the curve y square equal to ax. So, this region between the curve and straight line is the region of integration. Now, let us change the order of integration. So, we will reverse the strip. So, it becomes parallel to x axis to find out the limits of integral. Let us move this strip within the region of integration. For this, we will draw a perpendicular from the point A on a y axis which intersects the y axis at the point B whose coordinates are 0, a. To find out the outer limits, we will move this strip within the region of integration. It moves between x axis and the line y equals to a. So, the limits are 
y equal to zero to y equals to a. To find out the inner limits, look at the ends of the strip. Its lower end is on the curve y square equals to a x. Now to find out the lower limit, look at the end which is closer to the axis. So here. The lower limit is y square equals to a x. The upper end is on the line y equals to x. So we will get the limits as y equal to zero, y equals to a, y square equal to a x is the equation of the line which can be written as x equals to y square by a and x equals to y. So the i equals to integration from zero to a, integration from x to root a x. f of x y d x d y can be written as integration from zero to a integration from y square by a to y f of x y d x d y. Thank you.